What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I'm going to show you a method to hack games in BlueStacks. Uh, first off, thanks to Darkbite from the Cheat Engine forum, also the maker of Cheat Engine, for throwing this little tidbit my way. Um, typically I thought you would need DBVM to successfully do things in BlueStacks, but it turns out you don't. So in Cheat Engine, go to your settings. And first off, make sure you have Use VEH Debugger selected in your debugger options. But here in Extra, you want to make sure you have Read Write Process Memory selected. All right, and then you would click OK. So then what you can do is, instead of attaching to a process, you click this button here, and you want to scroll all the way to the top, and you will see Physical Memory here. All right, open that. And now what you can do is you could still try doing like increased, decreased value scans, things of that nature. Um, or you could do, uh, I've had some good luck doing exact value searches. So for like the coins in this game, Moss Speedrun, I'm going to go ahead and collect, uh, let's see, three coins. And I will start with a four byte scan for the value three. Now the first scan that you do with this physical memory thing, unless you select your own sort of range here with memory, um, the first scan can take a little while. So I'm going to let this first scan run and then I'll be right back right as it's finishing up. Alright, so we'll do first scan and we'll let that run. Alright, coming back here and it should be done here in just a second. There we go. Now the good thing is that after you do that first initial scan, the subsequent scans shouldn't take anywhere near as long to do. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a couple more coins here. And now I'm going to do a search for my new coin value of 5 here. And it'll like pause for a second with the scan and then it should just pretty much zoom right on through. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm going to collect one more coin here. Six. Let's do it again. And seven. Let's get two more and do nine. All right. Now sometimes you'll get a lot of the same kind of results. So you'll see the same address like multiple times. All right. And so. We have one in this that is the value you see on the screen, and the other one should be the actual value itself. So I'll try this first one. Uh, we'll do 16, see what that does. That didn't do anything. Let me try this one here. 16, and there we go, that changed. So now I am going above that number of coins. So I'm just going to try 999. There we go. All right, and let's just go ahead and finish out the level here. And so I could do the same with the time there. It's a float, and I could search for that exact time, but to do that first scan would take a while to do. So anyway, there you go. You see me finding that value in this Android game. Um, and of course, your luck with online-based games will be hit or miss. Typically direct values related to gems, gold, anything that costs money, anything like that, you're not going to be able to do it through a simple search like this. So just be cognizant of that. But anyway, uh, give it a shot. See how you fare. Also, I have another video I did that shows you how to hack online and Facebook games. So you might want to check that one out as well. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.